Hello YouTube, let me introduce you Blue Arp, a brand new VST Media RPG designed and created specially for electronic and trance music. It took me about 7 months to develop this thing and I'm quite excited about what comes out. It's still an alpha version but it's already working and I'm gonna show you what's possible to do with it. Uh, since it's a MIDI arpeggiator, it doesn't generate any sound by itself like any other arpeggiator. So it needs to be connected to either a hardware or software synthesizer which generates sound. And in my case, I'm gonna, I want Blue Arp to uh, sequence Celent 1 synthesizer. So there is a simple super saw bass and uh, to connect them, I need to go to this uh, wrapping settings, this tiny button in the left corner, and select some input port. Uh, in my case, it should be the port which is not occupied by real MIDI equipment. So I select some large number like 11. It's free in my configuration. And in Blue Arp, I go to the same uh, settings uh, page and select the same output port, 11. And since I did it, uh, they are connected. Now I'll turn my camera to show my keyboard. So you'll see me playing. Because I'm gonna adjust, adjust the uh, arpeggiator sequence and play it real time. Uh, RPG itself starts working only when a uh, sequencer is running. So since since I press play button, but it's not interesting. It's a very simple sequence. So about the settings, uh, here I have number of steps, which is obvious from the name, gate time. It's the length of uh, each note. Uh, synchronization, 8th notes or 16th notes. Global transposition settings. And the central part of this uh, RPG is this matrix editor and these five bars. Each has uh, each bar repre re represents some kind of setting. For example, key select or step type. Uh, step type uh, can be either off, normal, rest, or tie. If I want to switch off certain steps. I switch them to off. Rest means that uh, this step will play the rest of the, the uh, rest of the note from the previous step. And tie means that uh, the next note will be tied to the previous. It's useful when you use uh, when you use monophonic synth with portamento. But in my case, I want to create a simple bass pattern, so I'll go to the octave, to the octave bar, and create a pattern like this. Now I'll adjust it in real time. First I'll switch to 16.
key select is useful when I use uh, several several keys in the input. So I'll show it. I'll create a simple up sequence from keys one to four. And here blurb behaves uh, different, not like the conventional arpeggiators, uh, because when when I press just one key, it will play only these first steps, uh, steps with first key selected. And if I play two keys, it will play two keys. Uh, this behavior depends on a uh, missing key substitution setting because now it's set to don't play so if I press just one key only the steps with first key selected will will play and if I pl uh, if I select for example cyclic it will substitute uh, missing keys You can see here in input keys pre filter is actually pressed keys on the keyboard, and input keys post filter are keys after ordering and missing key substitution. So it's easy to use this to understand how it works. Or I can select not cyclic but for example first key. Then the first key in, in my sequence will be the substitution to all the missing keys, all last key. And now I'll just uh, adjust uh, slant once patch a little bit to make it more interesting. I'll add some delay and I'll try to create uh, some arpeggiated sequence.
Now I'll add some drums. quite easy to create uh, different different patterns for electronic music with it and unlike uh, unlike other arpeggiators with up and down sequences uh, blurb can give more predictable results so it's it's more like uh, pattern programming than just adjusting some settings so if you have some pattern in mind you can create it with blurb and Play it in real time, and it's also possible to create uh, keyboard split real time performances because uh, it has uh, uh, input input range settings. So you can uh, uh, set some input range and split keyboard in say into several ranges, which will uh, trigger different instances of blue arp. Uh, in the next video I'll show you how it's possible to um, how to create this real-time uh, keyboard split performance uh, so uh, download it try it and write comments uh, uh, your comments will be welcome thanks for watching